Welcome to The Bump and what is shaping up to be the most chaotic SummerSlam week in WWE history. I'm Byron Saxton. And I'm Kayla Braxton. Less than a week before defending the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Cody Rhodes in a brand versus brand main event at SummerSlam, Roman Reigns shocked the world and surrendered his title. The head of the table said that he's been beating up Cody for years now and he has nothing more to prove. Now he's taking a sabbatical in Hollywood to show his cousin, The Rock, that he will be a bigger superstar there too. With SummerSlam in disarray and the draft set to begin the night after, Triple H called for a one-night WWE Universal title tournament with selections from the GMs of both Raw and SmackDown. Raw GM William Regal named Cody as Raw's first entrant and said he was confident the title would be coming to Raw. But SmackDown's brand new general manager, The Miz, didn't find this awesome. He called the attempt to take his WWE Universal Championship to Raw nothing short of theft. And The Miz is in it to win it for his brand. He's sending a team of killers to bring that title home. Let's take a look. Kayla, we know what Braun Strowman brings to a fight. AJ Styles is always a threat. If you ask me, though, KO is the man to beat in this whole tournament. He's been hungry for the opportunity. Reigns has left him here. That sounds like he was waiting for crumbs from Roman's table, Byron. William Regal's entries are no slouches. Finn Balor was the first Universal Champion. Much of the WWE Universe believes this is Gunter's time. And Cody Rhodes has been looking to finish the story for a while now. That last slot, though, Kayla, what is Regal's strategy there? William Regal still has one foot in developing young superstars. Raw's GM is going to make a match on the SummerSlam kickoff show for that last slot in the tournament. Your guy, Kevin Owens... I mean, I wouldn't call him my guy. Your guy is not going to know his opponent until the winner of that match, and neither will we. Don't blow yourself up, young man. You're apt to have a long night. Mr. Regal. Coming in early to help the ring crew, running the ropes while everyone else is still at the hotel, it makes an impression. Thanks. I do my best. Do you? What do you mean? Do you do your best? Apply yourself. You sound like my old math teacher. Well, you came to Raw more than a year ago now. And you've yet to make much of an impression. No titles, no great rivalries, a win-loss record with just enough victories to fly under the radar. A great pep talk? Let me finish. I see your potential. The question is, if you're ready to fulfill it. I'm ready. Good, because as you know, there's a tournament for the WWE Universal Championship tonight. The final slot for Raw will be decided in a match on the kickoff show. One of the combatants will be Dominic Mysterio. That young man has a future, a legacy, a name. The other competitor is you. Thank you, sir. So much. I'll bring my best. Good man. See you do. You're the long shot of this whole night, my boy. You're the dark horse. Beat the odds.
Oh, good. There you are. I'm Troy Simpkin. Associate, but soon to be full-fledged producer. Uh, Troy, we've met several times. You even borrowed my toothbrush once. <laughs> Ribbing you, bro! Anyway, just wanted to make sure you had the lay of the land. I mean, you're already booked tonight, but normally these situations are a good chance to check your social media, talk to other superstars, mess with your attire, all kinds of things. What else can I do? A whole bunch of different stuff. But the main point of interacting with your fellow superstars is to get into rivalries, which equals more TV time and success. But if you do start an issue with someone, you'll have to see it through. It's what we like to call story continuity. Did you come up with that? Well, it's a team effort around here. But if you have to know, yes, it was my idea. Really earning that promotion. Anyway, thanks for the tips, but I need to get focused for my match. Well, look who it is. If it isn't SummerSlam's Dark Horse. That nickname is sticking. Good times. Good times? Is Raw trying to steal SmackDown's WWE Universal title? Between us, what is Regal really up to? Um, giving me an opportunity to win the WWE Universal Championship? He put you in a qualifying match. You think that's some kind of vote of confidence? Come on, don't be naive. I'm not. What are you getting at? You know he has all his royal eggs in the Cody Rhodes basket. He's just trying to set the American Nepo baby up to win. I'll tell you what, the draft starts tomorrow. You beat Dominic, maybe I bring you over to SmackDown in the supplemental. We'll make a big announcement on social media. Oh, you'll post about me? For real? Why would you want me in the tournament instead of Dom anyway? Because I want the WWE Universal title on my show, where it belongs. And I am 100% sure KO will beat you. Coming to SmackDown? Man, that is a very generous offer and a wicked smart strategy, Miz. I just, and I don't want to overstep here, but I have just one little thing I'm bumping on. What's that? It's just that I would rather have my fingernails pulled out with needle nose pliers than ever work for an entitled, condescending reality show hack like you. I promise that you will regret that. Miz, this right now, this conversation, talking to you, that's what I regret. It's the so-called dark horse of the tournament. The following contest is a qualifying match for the Universal Championship Tournament. Making his way to the ring from New York, New York. Weighing in at 215 pounds, Donald T. Let's not get ahead of ourselves calling this guy the dark horse of the tournament. He's not even officially in it yet. I have to agree with you, Corey. Winning the WWE Universal Championship Tournament will be difficult enough. But to have to win an extra qualifying match first makes it nearly impossible. It's time to find out who will claim the final spot in the WWE Universal Championship Tournament.
The second generation superstar looking to carve his own path. It's Dominic Mysterio. And his opponent, representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Dominic looks ready to go, but I've heard some rumblings backstage that he's not too thrilled about being placed in this qualifying match. Coming in complaining is the quickest way to sabotage your own chances. Dom needs to put aside his grievances and concentrate on the task at hand. In a moment that can define a career, the road to glory begins right here. One of these men will walk out of this qualifying match with a ticket to the WWE Universal Championship Tournament. And we know who it's going to be, Cole. Dirty Dominic Mysterio. He's a hard man who did hard time. Hard time? He spent one night in jail. Show a little respect to Dominic's opponent. You really think this guy has got the stuff to follow in Roman Reigns' footsteps, Saxton? He's been called the Dark Horse for a reason. As the arm ringer. Ooh, what? Wasn't expecting that. Oh, my goodness. Now, that'll do some serious damage. Strikes with a kick. Quick sidestep by Dominic. Moonsault! There is some power behind that punch. Ooh, sharp elbow. Enable the counter. He's starting to struggle here. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh, pressing their foot right into the gut. It's got to hurt. Shifts it back onto him. Ooh, kick lands. Just one step ahead. Raw drop kick. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm. Has the arm trapped. Goodness gracious. And now Mysterio has all gears in motion. Dominic is really remaining the aggressor here. To stop in every single part of his body. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. He catches Dominic with a counter. He's pushing back now. Yeah, his instincts are taking over. Down on the chest. Oof. Kick finds it. Ooh. Oh, what a kick. And here's a cover. Rope breaks the hold there. Yeah. Ooh. Catches the kick. Into a dragon screw leg whip. And that failed to hit the mark. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. He got whipped into that corner. Unloading. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Caught with a punch. Just a barrage 
Garza stops. This could be it. Cover for the win. He kicks out at two. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Knee right to the midsection. Oh! He gets out of the way. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Dominic's looking out. Dominic in crisis mode. We now know who will fill that final spot in the WWE Universal Championship Tournament. What a win. Impressive, but somehow he's going to have to find a way to string together three more victories before the night's over. There he is. Great match with Dominic out there. Regal made the right call opening that last slot up. We're in the opposite bracket, but I'm kind of hoping you make it to the final. Real Cinderella story. Is that like some kind of reverse psychology mind game? Hell no. You make it to the final, I'm aiming to beat you just like I was going to beat Reigns. Of course you were going to beat Roman. Man, Cody, that must get under your skin. Reigns running away to Hollywood. No. The fact that whatever you do, however many titles you win, you're just the guy who stepped out of his dad's shadow and right into Roman's. Wow. Stiff. It's like that? It's like that. See you in the main event, Rhodes. KO, first round of the WWE Universal Title Tournament. Let's do this. Seriously? Are you literally the most desperate superstar on Raw? I'm just saying. Oh, KO, I'm so excited to fight you. What the hell have you ever done to even deserve being in the same room as the WWE Universal Championship? You want to know what I've done to get here? It was a rhetorical question. What you've done is take the opportunity to showcase your craft on the biggest stage in the world and flush it right down the toilet. You've been over on Raw for what, two years now? And most of the WWE Universe doesn't even know your name. All you are is some charity project for Regal. I'm nobody's project. Half right. You're definitely a nobody. See you out there.
He's back again to compete in the championship tournament. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York, New York. Weighing in at 215 pounds, Donald T. No disrespect to Dominic Mysterio, but the competition levels up a bit here with Kevin Owens. Yeah, it's one thing to take on KO fresh, but after already competing tonight, good luck. It's almost time to see who advances and who goes home. does not look happy tonight. And his opponent from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! As gritty and tough as they come, KO has to be one of the most hardened superstars anyone can face in this business. And that is how he has spent nearly a decade as a top name in WWE. There have been very few folks to main event a single WrestleMania, let alone two. But KO has done just that. Yeah, KO's not the kind of superstar you picture as a multi-time WrestleMania main eventer. But he's made an entire career out of defying expectations. There were not many people who expected KO's opponent to make it into the WWE Universal Championship Tournament, but here he is. What do you think is going through his mind right now? The jerk in the curtain at SummerSlam is as close to the undisputed WWE Universal title as he's ever going to get. KO is about to turn Cinderella back into a pumpkin. Pretty sure that's the carriage, Corey. The odds might favor Kevin Owens, but we've already seen this man has brought his A game tonight. Oh, solid punch. Boom! What a right gosh. Vicious, downright savage club right there. Taking the wind out with a stomp to the solar plexus. Bam! He knew that was coming. Knee right to the gut. Evades the attack. Connecting on the DDT. He's lost some of his win now. Yeah, Owens making quite the impression. He takes control. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Oh, man. Owens was scouted there. Taking this one back to the ring now. There he goes, right into the corner. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. in some serious trouble. Owens into the ropes, but Kale holds on. Kick to the gut. Stunner! Stunner! This one's over. One, two, Why the heck would he do that? 
I'll tell you why, Saxton. Kevin Owens is making a statement. This statement could cost Owens the WWE Universal Championship. KO needs to take the W. He's wasting time. It's not a waste of time. Everyone in this tournament is watching, and they see KO beating a guy so bad he can't stand up. Is he setting him up for another stunner? Wait, small package. One, two, three. He got him. KO had it won, but his arrogance got the better of it. I don't buy it, Saxton. Let me see a replay. KO's taking it out on the referee. And another stunner from Owen. He might have won the match, but did this guy ever lose the war? Just a total meltdown from KO here tonight. And as a result of KO's meltdown, I'm not even sure his opponent's going to make it to his next match. I'm about to go live with a hit for the bump, and you are the guy everyone is talking about tonight. You got a quick sec? You got a bag of ice? Um, no. That is a bummer. But chatting with you is not. What do you want to know? You really came out of nowhere tonight with a couple of big wins that have you in the hunt for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. But I have to ask, is your performance tonight a fluke? I'm sorry? A fluke? I don't mean any offense, it's just... Your record hasn't exactly been at the WWE Universal Championship level since you got here. What's the old saying, the times make the man? You're not wrong, Kayla. I've been finding my feet here in WWE. But when Regal gave me this opportunity, I was grateful because there's something in the air tonight. Something I could feel when I walked in the building. No, I don't think people are looking at a fluke. I think they're looking at destiny. Bold words for a man about to face Braun Strowman. I guess we're about to find out if I'm right. I guess we are. Good luck out there. If you find a bag of ice... I'll keep an eye out. Somehow he keeps surviving. It's the Dark Horse. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York, New York. Weighing in at 215 pounds, Donald P. He's already strung together two victories tonight. Why not make it three? Why not? Because he's facing Braun Strowman. I don't think I need to say anything else. Now we're talking. If this is it for the Dark Horse, he's had a good run.
Here comes six foot eight, 385 pounds of chaos. And his opponent from Sheryls Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds. Braun Strowman has a mean streak a mile long. Yeah, and a proven history of not playing well with others. Because the monster is about to be unleashed. WWE Universe, brace for impact. Guys, you are really beginning to see the wear and tear on the dark horse of the tournament. And despite the result, KO beat the hell out of it. And now he's walking into a fight with a genuine monster in Braun Strowman. The guy that'll turn around, take the count out loss, and call it a night. Not happening, Corey. We saw it with Dominic Mysterio on the kickoff show, and we saw it with Kevin Owens in our opening match tonight. This man will not quit. Just like that, Braun gets pounced on. Oh, close fist connects. Punch! Ooh, oh, what a punch. That's how you stop him. Serious jeopardy for Strowman. Finally, it's over. Here is your winner, Tommy P. Somehow he has survived three matches and will advance to compete in the tournament finals against none other than Cody Rhodes. Just advancing as far as a huge accomplishment, but I'm sure the Dark Horse isn't satisfied yet. This is a setup, Regal. I take over as the general manager of SmackDown, and all of a sudden there's a tournament for my show's title with a bunch of Raw guys, and now two of them made it to the finals? Mizanin, surely you cannot believe that I somehow conspired with Roman Reigns to abdicate his title. Perhaps he simply didn't want to work with you. That is ridiculous. Roman loves me, and that's not the point. You and Triple H and all your little buddies skulking around to anoint Cody Rhodes, you set this up for Cody to face this guy. Hello again, Miz. I thought about your offer to come to SmackDown if I did okay against Dom and then lost to KO. I decided to beat him instead. Oh, and Braun too. Looks like I made the right choice including you in this tournament. Oh, look at the Mutual Admiration Society. Can you really not see what's going on here, kid? A qualifying match? Owens? Strowman? You're getting the hell kicked out of you so Regal can put his boy Cody on the throne. He is using you. Yeah, he is using me. To main event SummerSlam, Miz. I'm cool with it. Whatever. I'm done with both of you. 
You cannot get away with stealing the WWE Universal Championship from SmackDown, Regal. I believe I just have. 